Hello guys and welcome to Till Vacuum Do Us Part. We are going to be doing some home projects today. These are all perfect for this fall time while the weather is gorgeous outside. I'm also going to be sharing as many tips as I can to save you money. But the first place we're going to start is our backyard. So when we moved in here we paid to have this whole yard um, full of sod but we had a lot of rain come in and where the rain held you can see these areas like the sod died. Now we did have some leftover sod from when we did the patio and we just laid that on top and it just went seamlessly in like once the roots went in you can't even tell that it's like double layer sod so we're gonna do that to the rest of this yard um, it's really hard because those areas get muddy and with winter coming the boys drag in mud so we're gonna get all this filled up with sod so next summer we will finally have a complete yard with lots of grass hopefully <laughs> If you're new here, definitely click that red subscribe button if you love seeing anything home related. So I do a lot of home projects, cleaning, decluttering, organizing, rearranging. I'd love to do it all and I'd love to have you here. Um, here is the first truckload of sod. Thank goodness for Chase's truck. Definitely just getting the sod and picking it up yourself and laying it yourself is gonna save thousands of dollars. So in our last house, Chase didn't have a truck, so we had to pay somebody to go pick it up, drop it off, and we paid him to lay some of it, but then we did the next load ourselves, and it really is something you can do. What I like to tell myself when I'm doing these home projects is it's just a really good workout and you don't realize you're getting your workout until you wake up the next morning and you're sore. So you're bettering your house and your body all at the same time. Chase is still outside pulling weeds. We're about to start putting the sod down. <laughs> we don't have many chairs out there now. If you guys watched my last itch to switch, I have them in here and love them. <laughs> um, but he surprised me with a new vacuum, which is definitely the way to my heart. And for a girl that does not love color in her home, I have a thing for like colorful cleaning products like Jaws, Eve cloth rags, all of that. And um, this, and I'm obsessed with my LG vacuum. I love LG, I love Hoover. LG's my favorite, Hoover's just the more affordable option if you're on a tighter budget. But this guy was on sale for like $2.79, which is a still for LG, plus it's pink, so he surprised me with it. Hopefully it's still on sale when you guys are seeing this. I'll leave it linked down below in my description box, but I just love that it's like a pretty pink. Oh, didn't mean to turn on. And that it's not like, it's not a crazy pink. It's still really subtle. And then it's just gonna pop in all my cleaning videos because it's gonna be the only colorful thing in the room. So if you're needing a new vacuum, this would be a really good gift. So think of Christmas gifts or if you want it, you know, send the link to your husband. And like I said, I really hope it's on sale when this video goes live. Also, one last thing, this is not sponsored, it's just, it just came in the mail while I was filming, so I thought I'd share it with you guys since it's on sale. It also comes with this, like, nice pamphlet on how to take care of your vacuum. So if you need to know, like, how to clean it out, how to clean the filter, I thought that was really nice they did this, and it comes with, like, a little suction cup, so you can, like, stick it on your washer and dryer or refrigerator. Like, I have a refrigerator out in the garage, so that's probably where I'll stick it, but I thought that was nice of them to, like, add that in. One last thing I wanted to show you, it doesn't come with all the attachments that my first LG came with. It's got this smaller one and then the floor vacuum. This is an extra filter it comes with. This is everything to hang it on the wall. So if you're gonna hang it to charge, like I do my previous one, like this will go on the wall and you'll hang it. Now, if you can't drill into your wall, say you're renting or you don't have the space, it also comes with like a floor stand. So this goes in here and then your vacuum hooks on it so it can just charge like in a closet or in a corner, or wherever you can fit it. So you have the option to do both. Mm -hmm. 
So now that we have all the weeds pulled up, we definitely wanna loosen up that dirt. So if you have like a rake or a shovel, Chase uses this little machine on the back of our lawnmower. I think you're supposed to do it at the very beginning of summer and the very end, and it just helps your grass grow. And it basically just punches a ton of holes into your ground. So he's just gonna go back and forth all over this like dirt area where the grass isn't growing. And the more direction you can go, the better. Like I said, you could use a rake or something, but these patches in our yard are actually a really good size. So this definitely just helps speed up time. This is something you can also hire out, but Chase looked at buying the piece for our lawnmower and he even had to put it together. So this is something we can do twice a year for free now that we bought it and we don't have to pay a company to come and do it. Now it's time to unload the sod. So typically Chase would just pull his truck into our backyard and that would make things way easier. But it's been raining here a lot in Oklahoma and we don't want tons of tire marks through the grass, especially since we're trying to make our yard look nice. So we just have this like what I call like a wagon attachment that can go on the lawnmower and he's just gonna load up as many as he can and then we'll take it to the back and lay it. Um, another thing to remember, you can make this as hard or as easy if you want to. So if you want to get in and out of the truck every time to use it as a workout, like say you're not gonna work out today, you can make home projects a workout. Now if you're like, no, I'm not in it for the workout, you can pull up the wagon, I'll show you here in a second, and you can just throw it into it. But you definitely can do both. I don't know if you guys have ever thought about that, but definitely make those home projects a workout and then it's just like a two for one. Another little tip, anytime you can get your kids involved, it's really good for them to learn work themselves. And sometimes you can make it super fun. So Savvy knows how to work our lawnmower and she actually really enjoys it. So it gets her out there with us. So she's not just like inside away from us. She's not like playing on her phone or watching a TV show. She's out putting some work in and you can always make it fun. And so anytime we can include her in a project, we definitely try our best to do that. I don't know if it's just me, but when I show this next clip, I feel like it's tons of like Tootsie Rolls in my yard. So typically we take a load and lay it out and then go get another load, but I had to leave to take Savannah to dance and Chase knew I needed to film as much as possible. So he was just laying them all out, trying to space it out as much as you can. This is another way to do it if you're trying to figure out how many loads you're gonna need. You can kind of guess where they're gonna go and then you can just start rolling them out and then if you make a few adjustments, that's fine. I can pick it up and just move it a little bit, um, but it was just funny seeing all the salt rolled up like that. I feel like doing home projects can be really good for relationships too, whether that's a marriage, a friendship, a partnership, just working together and using your head to figure out, you know, if something's not looking right or working or you can bounce ideas off each other. And then at the very end, when you see it complete, it's so rewarding. So it's definitely fun to get somebody involved, whether it's your kids, your husband, your partner, just a friend, definitely pull somebody in have you know a nice dinner or grab a pizza together, have fun drinks, you can even turn on good music and it makes the time go by faster and you typically make really good memories in the process. So this is actually the next day. So we're on day two and we have our second load of sod. 
We always underestimate how much sod we're gonna need. We did it in the last house and we did it on this house. Um, we could only pick up one anyway, so it didn't matter much. Um, but we did get our second load. And as you can see here, Chase was a little bit more sore the next day. So the workout's like out the window. Now he just pulls it up right there and he can just throw in all the sod and then drive it to the back when he's finished. So by this point, we are pros. We know exactly what we're doing, where it needs to go. So as he brings a load, I'm just taking it and rolling it out where it needs to go. So day two went a lot faster and I feel like that's really typical for most projects. Day one, you're just trying to figure everything out. Day two, you have a good system and things just move more quickly. definitely coming along but I wanted to show you the two patches we haven't even started yet but here's like the biggest patch at least most of it's getting accomplished Savannah's still helping us um, it was just like a fun family day and the weather was gorgeous how it all looks covered up. I know you can see like a thick layer of it, but it really does like mesh together really well. But when you get new sod, you have to be so good about watering it. You have to water it every single day and just baby it. The last thing you wanna do is spend all this money and then kill it. <laughs> um, you can also seed if you wanna save a lot more money, but that just never worked out for us. So we just went ahead, invested a little bit more and got the sod. Um, but now we're gonna move on to our next project, which is painting this dresser. This is a used dresser we bought. Your grandma may have something, your parents, it may not look just like this, but I wanna show you just a really easy way you can update this piece, and I'm telling you, anybody can do this project. thing we have to do is get this piece outside so I can work on it it is such a massive piece it'll only go out of that like room and little hallway nook is standing up so we had it on wheels but obviously we can't push that on grass so I helped Chase carry it to the back I like doing all my projects on this side of the house because if paint gets on the ground nobody really sees it over here we do keep like a piece of wood for me to do projects on but sometimes it goes over it so I wouldn't do it like in my front yard or driveway or like outside my dining room windows so it's just smart to do it on the side but here is what the piece is gonna look like this is the only part of it I'm painting I'm not touching the drawers and this is the paint I'm gonna be using I bought this one can and I've used it on so many projects so if you want to screenshot this right here so if you need to know the color for later you can definitely do that um, I know gallons of paint can be a little pricey but I'm telling you you will use it over and over and over again Nobody loves me better. Oh, and also you're about to see me start um, like I'm sanding and then I'm gonna clean it off, but you're gonna see I have my phone strapped on me. 
I got so sick of like looking for my phone. I couldn't find it. It was like in the bottom of my purse. I was missing phone calls. I finally got on Amazon and found this case that comes with a strap attached and you can't unhook it and you can't adjust the size of the strap. It has been a lifesaver. So if you guys are needing anything like that, I'm gonna go ahead and link it down below. I think Savvy thinks I'm a little crazy, but I think it was the best invention ever. Nobody loves me better. So anytime I'm painting with black, I've been adding black to my house. I call it being moody. I learned that from mama from scratch. Um, I like to use flat paint because it looks like matte and then it's not too like spooky Halloween-ish. Um, so definitely keep that in mind when you're buying black paint or if you're going to, you might grab the flat because um, I'm always happy with the results and it hides a lot more flaws. Anytime you add like a shine or gloss to it, you're gonna notice more flaws and if you're like a beginner painter, definitely start with the flat paint. Nobody loves me better. Have this feeling, feeling. haven't felt for so long. Took a hold of me and won't let go. I've been sleeping, caught me off my guard. Cause you're in my space and now I'm so how the first layer of paint is looking. So these are the only areas I'm gonna be painting, so it honestly does not take long at all. Like I said, I'm gonna not touch the drawers. I'll put those in later so you can see it. Now, if you want it all one piece, don't, definitely do that. You can add new hardware, but I wanted to do as little as possible. And I had seen some dressers like this on Pinterest, and I was like, I have a dresser, I have the paint already. So this was a completely free project for me. So definitely just look around your house, see what paint left over you have, and you can do the coolest things with it, updating your space. Now, while I'm working on the second layer of paint, we're gonna go to our patio. So you guys know if you've been following me for a little while, we extended our back patio when we moved into this house, and we had some issues with the workers. They didn't want it like they messed up the concrete. They didn't want to fix it. Even when they poured it, they let it like splatter all over our new white house that we had painted. So now Chase is going to go in and start covering up all those spots because every time I look at it, it drives me crazy. So basically our goal um, on this like home projects video was to get everything done that we could outside. It's been beautiful here in the fall. So I'd rather do it while it's pretty outside than wait until the summer when it's like hot and our allergies are bad and there's more bugs. Fall's definitely the time for us to get a lot of stuff done outdoors. Chase is painting this on, you're gonna see there's a little bit of a paint difference just because this is fresh white paint and our homes kind of just aged a little bit. It's gotten a little bit more dirty, but it will adjust easily. Um, here is what the second coat of paint looks like. So everything's wrapping up. We have all the sod in. We've got the back of the house painted white again. The dresser's painted black. So now you're gonna kind of see us put everything back together. I always feel so good and so accomplished after videos like this. Just let me feel like you know what to do Leave your limitations, live and go against them Just let go and start up something new Cause I know, I know, I know that what you planned out Everything that you built up now it's time to bring the dresser back inside. I didn't really want to put it on the roller just in case it still had any more wet spots. Typically pieces like this dry really fast, especially if you're just doing lots of thin layers. Don't do tons of thick layers. 
Um, typically you only need two coats and that second coat doesn't even need a lot. It's more like touching up if you buy a decent paint. So we're just gonna carry this and then we did have to put it on its side just to get it through that nook, but I wanted to carry it as long as we could just so nothing got messed up. One day I'll have to create a video about getting the stressor all organized since it's in our guest bedroom. I want it to be stocked with just like extra things that our guests might need. I don't feel like we have a lot of guests anymore, um, but just in case they do or they come unexpectedly, I like to have everything ready to go for them. So I'll be working on that soon and I'll film a video. Um, on this left side, I kind of tweaked it a little bit. I still need new lamps and new nightstands, but I just wanted to show you how it was looking and kind of the theme I'm going with in this room. Obviously, I'm adding black like I am with the rest of my house, but here is the dresser reveal. It turned out amazing, so much better than I thought. Like I said, if it's not your style, you could paint it all black, you could leave the hardware, you could paint the hardware, you could even do black hardware and just like do it super simple, but I am so excited with the way it turned out. Here is one last drone shot. So you can see there's a few um, patches that we didn't get to completely fill it up, but we didn't want to spend any more money on sod. But honestly, that will grow in so quickly. I'm not worried about it at all. So thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned some tips. I hope you have a wonderful week and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Smash like